Hello friends, welcome to MS Optif webcast. In this video, we'll see how to use Windows Server 2019 Active Directory to deploy roaming user profiles to Windows client computers. Roaming user profiles redirects users profile to a file share so that users receive the same operating system and application settings on multiple computer. If your environment is not already set up with roaming user profiles, the first step is to create a security group that contains all users to which you want to apply a roaming user profile policy settings. Uh, first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory Users and Computers Console. Now for that, I'm going to click on Tools. Select Active Directory Users and Computers. For this demonstration, already I have created one OU with the name HR and under that OU, I have created three users, HR user 1, HR user 2, HR user 3. And these three users are member of one security group with the name HR users. Let's confirm it. Right click on a group and select properties. Let's click on members tab. And here you can see HR user 1, user 2 and user 3 listed as a member of HR users group. We're going to use this security group to assign a permission on a share folder. Now I'm going to minimize this Active Directory Users and Computers console because before configuring roaming profile settings, we need to create one share folder. So for that, on a saw magic console, I'm going to click on File and Storage Services. I'm going to click on shares and let's create a new share folder. I'm going to select SMB share quick profile. Here I'm going to select type a custom path and let's click on browse. On my domain controller, I have only one partition and which is C drive. Let's click on new folder to create a new folder. I'm going to give name Rome Pro as a short name for roaming profile. Let's select the folder, click on next. I want to make this share as a hidden share. So that's why I'm going to put a dollar sign at the end of the share name. Fine, uh, I'm going to copy this path as well. So this is the remote path which we needed uh, when we configure a roaming profile settings in user account. Click on next. I'm going to select enable access based enumeration. So a user who doesn't have read or equivalent permission, Windows will hide the folder from the user's view. Click on next. Uh, I'm going to customize the permission as well. And that is the most important step. Let's click on customize permissions. Uh, first of all, I'm going to disable inheritance. Select convert inheritor permission into explicit permission. Uh, we are going to remove this user's entry because by default, all the users from our Active Directory is a member of this mylab slash users group. Okay, we are happy with system administrator and creator owner. Now I'm going to add our security group. Let's click on add, select a principal. And now I'm going to specify the name of our security group, which is Azure users. Fine. Type will be allow, but now we are going to change applies to. That will be this folder only. Fine. So type will be allow, but this permission will be applicable for this folder only. Now I'm going to click on show advanced permissions. And first of all, I'm going to remove all these checkboxes because we want to specify certain permissions only. According to Microsoft documentation, the list needed permission is list folders and read data and create folders and append data. And that should be for this folder only. Fine. Let's click on OK. Apply OK. Let's click on Next and click on Create to create a shared folder. Done. Let's click on Close to close this console. Fine, so we have successfully created a shared folder as well. Now it's time to minimize our manager and let's go back to Active Directory users and computers. For this demonstration, I have one Windows 10 computer. For this testing purpose, uh, we are going to use this Windows 10 computer. Uh, this computer is part of domain mylab.local. 
let's log into this computer as a HR user one. So remember still we haven't configured roaming user profile for Azure user one and that we want to confirm. Okay, first of all, I'm going to open uh, system properties. Normal user doesn't have permission to access this and that's why we need to use administrator credential. Okay, I'm going to click on advanced and under user profiles, I'm going to click on settings. We just want to confirm that what is the current user profile for our Azure user one. Okay, here we go. My lab slash user one has a local profile type. Fine, this is before configuring a roaming profile. Let's go back to our domain controller. And now I'm going to select Azure user one, right click on it and go to the properties. Click on profile tab. And here I'm going to paste the path which we have copied earlier. This is the path of our shared folder. Slash hr dot user one click on apply and okay that's it uh, let's go back to our windows 10 computer and now i'm going to restart this windows 10 computer let's go for the restart because i don't want any kind of problem uh, for this video recording let's select hr user 2 and user 3 as well Let's uh, select the both users at the same time. So suppose if you have a multiple users and you want to configure roaming profile at the same time, that time you just need to select all those users and go for the properties. Click on profile tab and select profile path. Specify the path of your share folder. Slash percentile username percentile will be there. Let's click on apply and click on OK. Let's see the property of HR user 3. Let's click on profile tab. And here you can see that lock on name will be automatically there because we have used percentile username percentile and that is a variable. If we click on general, here you can see, uh, sorry, let's click on account tab. Here you can see users lock on name and that name will be here. Fine. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer. After restart, let's again log in to this Windows 10 computer using HR user one's credential. Okay, now user's profile must be a rooming profile that we want to confirm. Let's again come back to our Active Directory domain controller. Let's open File Explorer, open C drive, and let's open Room Proof folder. Here you can see hr.user1.v6 folder is there. Right now it is empty one as it is indicating us empty folder. Let's go back to our Windows 10 computer. Fine, this is the computer. Uh, let's again access uh, system properties. Let's specify the credential of our admin. Fine, let's click on advanced tab and under user profiles, I'm going to click on settings. And here we go. Now. As you can see, mylab slash hr.user1 has a roaming profile type. Let's click on OK and click on OK. If we come back to our domain controller under room pro folder, here you can see users profile is there. And that's true, hr.user1 will be there. But what is the meaning of .v6? Let's understand it. Each profile has a profile version that uh, identify the version of Windows on which the profile is used. So here dot v6 means we are using Windows 10 versions 1703 or 1607 or higher end. If you have a older Windows 10 version, that time your profile version will be v5 or something else. If you are using Windows 8 or Windows 8.1, that time that version number will be different one. But if you have a profile version with the dot v6, that means you are using the latest version of a Windows 10 computer. So that's it for this video demonstration. Uh, this is the way how we can configure a roaming profile for Active Directory users in Windows Server 2019. Thank you all for watching this video.